buddy. Okay. Been spending the last couple days working on a temporary website. Hopefully it'll be up today. And uh, it'll give some options out there. I'll talk more about that later when right before I get ready to put it up. But I was thinking about something. You know, I get a lot <clears throat> from people that they feel like they're supposed to do something here. That they were came to do a certain thing. And I've told most of you that you do it already. You do it by just being on the planet. Uh, you came here with a higher vibration. Uh, well, you star seeds did for sure. And uh, even the long-term humans, if you're heading to 5D, you were born in this particular life with a higher vibration. So you, you already were born and you are doing what you came to do. But I got to thinking about it. And I think uh, I saw this saying. I'm going to put it on the, the website. But... I agree with this saying so, so much that it's not so much about what you were born to do. It's about unlearning what you've been taught so you can be who you came to be all along. Okay, so how do you unlearn what you were taught? Well, everything I've talked about in all these videos helps you do that. But ultimately, it's about remembering who you really are. To not be concerned about what other people think or what other people expect. But to go within and find out who that person is within. And the way that you can do that is being happier and happier. Because you'll know if you hit on something. You'll know if you hit on something that's truly who you are. Because it will make you feel happier. It really will. As long as you're looking around for somebody on the outside. Um, a... Uh, more money or a better job or um, uh, that person, special person in your life. As long as you're looking outside, then you can't find that thing within. And that within thing is what you're looking for. You're looking for who you came to be all along. That person that you came to be all along. And you've just forgotten who that was by all of these beliefs that have been taught to you over these years and years and years. So... When you do the meditation thing and you get to that peace and that calm, then you go out and you go to your day-to-day -day life remembering to not be very concerned about what other people are thinking about you because it's not relevant. It's, it's really not relevant. And it won't find you happiness. It won't get you to happier and happier. It really won't. But when you hit on one of those things that, you, that make you feel happier, then you know you're on the right track. You, will, you really will know you're on the right track. So that's the key here, is to undo all the things that you've been taught to find the things that you always have been, that you came to be to begin with. And that was to just to be your authentic self. To find that authentic self, you have to kind of sort through all that other stuff. And you'll never find that on the outside. You'll never find that from someone else, remembering... Remember that they are trying to find their authentic self too. And they've lived a different experience, just like yours is so different than theirs, even if you're very, very close to them. It's very, very different. So to find the authentic you is a major part of what where you will find your happier, happier moments. Okay? So that may be metal music for one person, and it might be 80s love song for somebody else, right? But you find your happiness moment in your authentic self. Unlearn all that stuff that's around you from the outside. That's how you'll get happier and happier. And that's where you'll get to be your authentic self. And trust me, your authentic self is the self that's going to go to 5D. Not any of this other stuff that, that the outside has taught you to be this to be successful or you're going to be okay if you look like that or if you dress like this or if your life looks like that none of that stuff is your authentic self and the authentic self you is very unique uh, every single one of us uh, we came here with our authentic selves to be very very unique from each other coming together and sharing that uniqueness that is what 5d looks like it is not so much like here where there's a lot of clicks, so to speak. No clicks in 5D at all. We really, really 
on uh, Gaia in her 5D form. We really are joyous and we spend a lot of time celebrating the differences between ourselves, between each other, rather than trying to fit into categories that seem to be so prevalent here. So how to go through that moment to moment, day to day, and unlearn how to uncategorize yourself is a part of is a part of that not judging thing, that not attaching thing that we talk about over and over again. You want to get rid of the attachment, you want to get rid of the judgment, and all of those things put us in little little boxes. And we want to come out of those boxes, get rid of all those boxes. And you want to surround yourself with a life that encourages individuality, that encourages the ways that you are different rather than the ways that you are the same. Right? Those that make you smile. And people, you want to encourage the people around you that are unique and special in the way they sound, act, dress, and are. So that already you will be ready for the 5d experience of being around individuals and entities and beings from all around the, the whole creation of this dualistic um, experience that are very very different because in 5d uh, there is no categorizing there is no uh, even as something as basic as male and female in 5d you can change you can be female today and male tomorrow. You can do anything you want. You can change all those kind of things. So it's not uh, practical, nor is it possible in 5D to categorize anyone. So begin now by unlearning all of those things that put you in a category by using no judgment, no attachment, okay? In order to get unlearn all those things to head towards being your authentic self, your authentic, unique, individual self. And for me, that's quite an experience. And so something that brings me happier and happier every day is finding out who I really am. Who's my authentic self? What does that look like? What does that feel like? What makes me happier? And so long, so much of my life, I have I've really spent a lot of time trying to be to, trying to fit into these categories and be acceptable to society, to my family, to whoever around me. So this is exciting moment to moment, day to day, to realize that that isn't the correct way. That's not what I want. And that's not where I'm heading. I'm heading to 5D where everything about me that is unique and different is to be celebrated. And I want y'all to do the same thing too. Okay. Does that make sense? Alrighty then. Okay, that's it for this one. Huge hugs and I love you bunches. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.